Ten, a nightmare scenario for a local family when their five-year-old daughter got dropped off at a bus stop that she wasn't supposed to be at. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. Chancellor Wynn joins us live after speaking with that little girl's father. Yeah, Rob, Trisha, we are live here at Crawford Woods Elementary School. As you can see, this is the entrance to the school where that five-year-old girl would typically be walking through those doors to go to kindergarten. And then after school, she doesn't take the bus home. The father actually says she never takes the bus after school because she goes to the Boys and Girls Club. Well, on Friday, the Boys and Girls Club was closed, and somehow that five-year-old girl managed to board a school bus here, take it to a bus stop about one block from her home, and then walk home. She told her mom today, she was like, thank you for not forgetting me. And mom was like, I didn't forget you, baby. That's not what happened. Eric Stang says his five-year-old daughter takes the bus to Crawford Woods Elementary School each morning for kindergarten and then goes to the Boys and Girls Club after school. But she never takes a bus home from school. However, on Friday, Stang says around 4 p.m., he got a call from the school saying one of his neighbors had his daughter. Why does my neighbor have my kid? She should be at a Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club of Hamilton tells Fox 19 the Grand Boulevard Club was temporarily closed on Friday due to, quote, operational standards. But Stang says he was never alerted. He also adds that his daughter is not supposed to ride the bus home from school. But somehow the kindergartner boarded a school bus and got off at a stop about one block from their home. I don't even know where to start. Like, how are you supposed to expect a five-year-old to get off of a bus and try to make it home by herself? Stang says his daughter safely made it to his house from the bus stop, but couldn't get inside. So she stayed with a neighbor for about 30 minutes until Stang's wife could get to her. That same night, Stang says he spoke to the principal of Crawford Woods Elementary School and once again on Monday. He gave me a call today and he was stating again he was real sorry, real apologetic about everything and he would make sure that nothing was to happen again. And he told me something about a new policy coming out that they're going to be working on with this whole program for everybody being able to get in contact with the parents. Now Stang says he wants the school to be accountable for their actions and to review their after school transportation policies to ensure that this does not happen again. Making sure that they know what bus they're on if there's different buses in the morning and afternoon and making sure if they're, have, so they're supposed to have transportation back from school. Now, Eric Stanga adds that his daughter loves going to school here at Crawford Woods Elementary School, and she loves attending the Boys and Girls Club. But Stanga is hopeful that the school district will review some of their transportation policies when it comes to safety and actually possibly add in a few checks and balances to ensure something like this never happens again. Now, we did reach out to the school district both on Friday evening and then again today, but we have not yet heard back. Reporting live in Hamilton, Chancellor Wynn, Fox 19 Now. Yes, thank you.